our final two orators, we have Kimberly Rout, a fourth grader, representing J.P. Stark's Math, Science, Technology, Vanguard. Hello. Hi. Do you have any hobbies? I like soccer. Soccer? Why do you like soccer? I like soccer because I like running and sometimes I like being dirty. <laughs> All right, that's good. Handshake, hug, or high five? Handshake. Microphones. Good morning. My name is Kimberly Rout from J.P. Starks, Math, Science, Technology Vanguard. What would Dr. King say to the children of today? Dr. Martin Luther King, as you all know, was born on January 15th. 1929 in Atlanta, Georgia. He was instrumental in the organization of the March on Washington for jobs and freedom. He gave his life in the fight for freedom. His I Have a Dream speech gave hope to everyone. So I was asked, what would Dr. King say to the children of today? Dr. King would tell us not to judge anyone by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. When we take off this layer of skin, we are all the same and bleed the same red blood. He would tell the children to let your character speak so loud so that no one can even see the color of your skin. He would encourage us not to bully other children, to treat each other with respect. When you see someone in need, offer a helping hand. If you see someone being bullied, don't just stand there, speak up. Though we are young, Dr. King would admonish us to never let anyone silence our voices. When you see wrong being done, speak, speak up. When you see racism and injustice, speak, speak up. You see, this life begins to end the day we become silent about the things that matter the most. Dr. King, would also address gun violence that we, we face every day. He would tell us that violence is not the answer. Hatred and ignorance only breed more hatred and ignorance. We must stop this cycle of destruction. If adults won't, then it has to begin with us. Just because we're children, doesn't mean we can't make a difference. Jesus started preaching when he was 12. Dr. King was in college when he was 16. 16. He reminded us that it only takes one, one person willing to take a stand, one person serving as a candle can light the way for an entire community or entire race of people. Dr. King want us to have a better life than his. He will remind us of all the hatred, injustice, and segregation that he went through in the fight for equality. All of that is so that we we could have better opportunities. His dream was for one day, racism with seeds. He's reminded us that when God sent his only son to save us from our sins, he didn't care about the color of anyone's skin or anyone's nationality. He died for us all. He would end his message by saying, I 
have a dream that one day black and white will come together and be on one, one accord. I have a dream that one day there will be no gun violence. I have a dream that one day when we say God bless America, we truly understand what those three words mean. Sadly, on April 4th, 1968, James Earl Ray assassinated Dr. King and tried to destroy the dream. But guess what? The dream still lives, for it lives in all of us. Hopefully, one day, we can all live in peace. That is what Dr. King would say to the children of today. Rest in peace, Dr. King, because I, I, Kimberly Route, yes, am the dream. Thank you.